It was you, really, wasn't it, that began the Sunnet Theatre Club? Yes. Yes. Why? Well, uh, one summer evening, Edwin and I were sitting talking about the terrible unemployment in Oswestry and the area. And Edwin said to me, why don't you start something up with some of these people in their leisure time, play readings, that sort of thing. And I said, well, I think I'd be much more interested in taking the people of our valley, where I think there's a lot of talent, mm. and um, doing Under Milkwood, which was always an ambitious ambition of mine, to do mm. Under Milkwood in Technicolor with Welsh people. Mm. And so we said, well, I wonder if there's an interest in starting a dramatic society in the area, because the only one that there was was a Welsh speaking one. There was nothing for people who didn't speak Welsh, and that covered all aspects of, the, you know, of, of entertainment, musical things and, and drama and so on. So we put um, a piece in our local paper, because again, we have um, a voluntary local paper called the Tannock Chronicle. I'd better admit, hadn't I, that I work on that. <laughs> <laughs> voluntary. <laughs> Doesn't everybody. <laughs> so you see, it's a very active valley. Mm. And we put a piece in the um, Tannock Chronicle, uh, inviting people along one evening um, to meet people who were interested in forming some sort of theatre club. And 40 people turned up. A uh, lot of people. I mean, a surprising number, really, isn't it? I mm. mean, for people who presumably had never acted before. I should say, in our first show, 95% of them had not even been on a stage. Mm. We had really. quite a number of people who had, done, who had worked with choirs and, of course, worked oh, in yeah. Ice Tedford's. Yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, good singers and uh, natural performers. Mm. Which the Welsh sort of are, I yes. think, yes. aren't they? Absolutely. Yes. But then, say, these 40 come along, mm. right? And you are now going to form them into a club. Mm -hmm. Difficult to do or not? I mean, did they immediately know that some are going to act and some are going to be um, dressers and some are going to be what? Did that happen almost straight away? Almost straight away. We said, right, there's 40 people here. There's obviously an interest. Um, we'll form immediately a committee. And I'd like, I, I just said I'd like everybody to put their name and address and telephone number down on a piece of paper and say what they would like to do, whether they wanted to act, whether they could sing, dance, write, do stage management, wardrobe, what, they, what side of it they were interested in. <laughs> Did anybody put all those down? <laughs> I think the vicar. <laughs> the vicar. <laughs> yes. I am what is very interesting is that a uh, number of people put down no singing, uh, no, no acting, uh, will help in any other area. And uh, bit by bit, they have been uh, encouraged mm -hmm. into joining in on the musical side and joining in on the, on the uh, play side, on the drama side, uh, so that it has opened up in many ways for people who, perhaps when it originally started, uh, weren't too sure that they could go that far. Tell me this. Is it, I mean, both of you were professionals, right? Ah, I beg your pardon, but I mean, before mm -hmm. you took on the club. Um, is that not difficult to go from professional standard to amateur standard without feeling, well, disappointed, perhaps disappointed? I would say that it's been most exciting. Mm. Uh, not in any way disappointing. Mm. Uh, for me, mm -hmm. uh, I don't do a lot with the company. I, yeah. My job is to build the sets and keep out of the way. <laughs> uh, Does he uh, keep out of the way? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they drag me in. I, I, I find myself... Drag singing, you in? Well, uh, I find myself singing in male voice quartets, uh, barbershop <laughs> songs or uh, silly things like that. But uh, for mm. professionals coming and working, uh, we become just members of the community. Yeah. And it's so exciting. Mm. to see the, the, the talent develop, and uh, it's there. It would sound very big-headed, I feel. It would sound too vain and, and wrong to say that we would be in any way disappointed. No, it's no. most exciting. Well, then, mm. tell me this, then. You were used to teaching drama, mm -hmm. right? But th then you would be teaching to people who'd said, I want to become an actor or I want to, right, an actress. But these aren't people who are quite saying that. They're in, in, their, in their spare time want to act or want to put on performances. Their nerves, for, for starters, must be much, much greater even than a professional. This was my great fear mm. for our first production. Mm. I mean, our first production was a fundraiser. We mm. did an old-time musical. And I knew 
by the dress rehearsal we got a super show but I was still absolutely terrified that first night because uh, as I say 95 of them, percent of them hadn't been on a stage before and I didn't know how they were going to react they could do it they knew they could yes. do it but I just thought I, I had awful nightmares of, of somebody coming on to do a solo and stand there opening their mouth and <laughs> sort of nothing coming out and then running away you know I mean yes. it, it was just me getting myself mm. in a state I mm. suppose mm. because of course it didn't happen and mm. they've always been wonderful in fact they they come up um, for the performance for the when performance. they're in front of people yes. I mean there's one a thinks of only oh, professionals yeah. as, as playing to the audience but oh no I mean <laughs> <laughs> Our little company. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's amazing how they come up on the night. And the they warmth really of the audience, the audience. The warmth they get from the audience really does. But I'm sure it's, it's something which is uh, very much part and parcel of the life in the valley. Uh, ever since they, people in the valley can remember, they have been uh, the Little I Stedfords, choral evenings, that sort of thing. Mm. And public performance in many ways doesn't hold the terrors for people who've been so concerned with the community. No, that, that, that may be true indeed of, of uh, smaller communities too, mm. isn't it? But um, Gaynor, in taking on the teaching of them, so to speak, right, do you, I mean, do you have methods with them? I mean, what, what's the secret? Because I have seen, I have seen two of your performances, you know, your mm. shows, and they really are extremely good. I mean, they're not, that sometimes amateur, performances unless you've got like for instance say a child in one or a, or your relative in one <laughs> you usually <laughs> find them slightly embarrassing don't you in a way but they're not embarrassing I it's mean they're very very good standard now it, it, it must be a bit due to you well first and foremost I think they're natural hmm. they are completely natural their talent is a natural talent and I think a lot of the success has probably been um, you see, we're, we've only done five productions, and we've chosen them very carefully. We've chosen the right play for the right mm. people. That's important, isn't it? And then mm -hmm. cast mm. the right people in the right part. Mm. Uh, oh, that's not quite true. Uh, we've even had to, I mean, uh, again, we live in a farming community, so that sometimes people are unable to, uh, eventually, to play the role that's been suggested, and in uh, the last play you did, one character eventually had to be rewritten as a woman oh, yes. because we'd run out of men. <laughs> uh, they well, wanted to come ill, busy. somebody else had gone away to work, <laughs> and things like that. Uh, so that uh, we don't always have the same cast. No, we don't always have the same cast that we start off with, but some, <laughs> somehow or other it, it, it manages to work. It's wonderful the way that um, it isn't a question of teaching at all. It's really just developing what is there naturally. I have a great theory that anybody who can tell a lie is an actor. Ah, really? Oh, yes, I believe we can all act. <laughs> so if I ask you something now, you're not going to tell me the truth then, Edwin, are you? <laughs> I may. <laughs> tell me this. Do you think that acting has a therapy about it? Which, I mean, again, my theory is that, if, for instance, if you, if you see somebody playing a really angry person, it gets anger, which is in us all anyway, isn't it, out of your system? Is that true or not? I don't think it's true for myself. You don't? But no. it's not therapy. I think, I think it is for some. I think it's therapy, I should think, for, for um, amateurs. Yeah, but I, I think, think professionals, it's a job of work, isn't it? Oh, a lot of, mm. I, no, that's, a lot of professionals, I'm sure, feel um, release mm. uh, in uh, playing a highly emotional scene. But uh, isn't it Martin Harvey, the great Martin Harvey, used to be able to stalk across the stage in a great drama, melodrama, The Bells, and count the house. <laughs> uh, and then bring the house down at the end of the scene. Uh, that, to me, is a bit more the sort of acting to which I've been mm. used. But there's no doubt, I know two or three professional actors, for instance, who, in normal life, stutter. Yes. Mm. One very badly. As soon as they walk on the stage, or into a television studio, the stutter goes. One of them actually exploits his stutter wonderfully. Mm. Mm. So that, uh, yes, but they do. He finds great therapy in mm. And Gaynor, you said, finally, that you, you thought there was some therapy for amateurs. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm sure. In what way? A release from um, their everyday uh, self? Well, exactly, sort of, yes. or what? Yes, that's the main thing. It's such mm. a, so different from their everyday life. I mean, watching the film of The Valley, um, mm. Brian in the shop, the publican, you know, and so on. Playing parts that are so totally different mm. in a different time, different place. Mm. 
different feeling and and um, so many of them have gained so, so much confidence. Well, keep and up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> it is they who do the good work. <laughs> Thank yeah. you both for joining us. Last week we invited John.